Hey, it's me, Rach, and I just wanted to make a random video. My relatives from Australia, they know that I love makeup, and they wanted to introduce me to or show me some of the Australian makeup that they have. So this is a box from Paula's Choice, but they have a lot of different makeup that they included in the box for me to try. And what was fun about this is because I wanted to also make this video even if like these are Australian makeup. One Australian brand has now come to the Philippines, so I think this was still an appropriate video to make. So Australis, A-U-S-T-R-A-L-I-S, Australis. They're now here in the Philippines and I guess you can order. I'm not partnered with them or anything, I just thought that it would be an appropriate video to show some Australian makeup because the brand is here in the Philippines now or like at least in Manila. I'll show you first what I have. So I have opened this box before. <laughs> it's still labeled for me. I have opened this box before, but I just put some of the stuff back together so I could show you in this video. So first is this Paula's Choice eyeshadow palette. So it has this thing. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to push it. The mirror comes out and here are the eyeshadows. Okay, that's an eyeshadow palette. Next. They have this Nude by Nature Undercover Airbrush Mineral Primer. Cool. I haven't tried this, I think, but yeah, still has the thing. I'll open it next time and maybe I'll show you if you want to try it, but I don't want opening a lot of face products because they expire easily. So I want to keep this first. Maybe I'll just make an update review or something, but yeah. Okay, they had two eyeliners. I fell in love with the with the other eyeliner because it was so creamy. I forgot the name and I forgot the brand, but it was so good. So if relatives who are watching from Australia, if you remember which eyeliner that was, please send me again. It was so good. It lasted and it was so creamy. But this other one is another eyeliner. It's an eye definer in black from the brand Face of Australia. Let's try opening this one. Okay, this one, okay, it's a wooden pencil and oh, it's also very creamy. I like testing it in the back of my hand and it's super creamy. Let's try it. Let's see how it looks. I'll try putting it on top. Okay, I can't really do it because I have false eyelashes, but it is super creamy. Like, I can even put it on my waterline and it's like just, the pencil just runs. That's what I like in eye pencils when they just run because it hurts when you have the type of... I know it's a bad pencil when I have to tug and I have to keep going back and forth for a color to show up. So when you know it's creamy, it may tend to like smudge more. So you have to test that, but when it's creamy, that's when you know it's like partially good. Oh, they, they had other stuff here, but I don't think I was able to include it. But they have a Calvin Klein Snake Skin Tempting Glimmer Cream Eyeshadow. I've used this before. It was fun. But I don't use a lot of cream eyeshadows, but this was fun. It's like super pretty. I didn't even know that Calvin Klein had like makeup. But it's nice because this one was like super pigmented. There, so you can see. It's like... And that's just like one dip. It's not like the ano ba yung usong eye cream eyeshadow. There's a popular cream eyeshadow in SM, the one that you can buy in SM. I think it was Maybelline. I'm not sure. Um, it's not like that one because I find that that product was it didn't have a lot of pigment and it wasn't like bright enough. So I really like this one. If I was going to do a silver eyeshadow, that would be a really really good base. Okay, next. Face of Australia again, and this is gel eyeliner. Oh, it's budge proof. Okay, so it's gel. It's like a bronze color, and poof, I knew it. The cap has a little tool. Let's test it on the back of my hand. So it's an eyeliner, but in a bronze color, which is pretty. Uh. It's very flattering, so instead of a harsh black, it's nice to put brown sometimes, para mas subtle. It has like a softer look. Okay, so I like this color. It's very creamy, and the pigment is there. It's a little metallic, but not so disturbingly metallic naman. But I like it, it's pretty. I'm definitely going to use it. Next, okay, are the Australis powders. So. I've used this one before. So this is the Australis High Life Highlighting Powder. This is a nice natural color. Okay, it's not showing properly the color on camera, but it has a more 
beige undertone with glitter. Let's try. Okay. It's a little powdery, but it's very natural. It's very light. Okay, I don't wanna... I can't show you on my hand because it's super light. It's supposed to be there. It's a very light and powdery um, highlighter. I already have a lot of highlighter, but just to show. Okay, so be careful. It's very powdery, but it, it's pretty. It's very natural. There. So this is the Australis Banana Powder. And banana powder is good to brighten the skin, especially in your under eyes, the parts that you want to highlight a little bit more, but in a more subtle way. So that's what banana powder is good for. So this is good. It's a nice touch-up powder too. And the last two. So this is the Australis AC on, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, AC on tour contouring and highlighting kit for a dark complexion. So even if um, I am fair, like, fair skin. I do accept makeup like this and I do appreciate it when my family gives me things like this because I know I'll be able to use it for my kit because I am a makeup artist and I love these colors. Okay, actually, so, so this is my first time opening it. So it does say this is the contouring and highlighting kit for a dark complexion, but I can use these colors for myself, especially like this one. I'll remove the so these are powders. The mirror is nice and clean. There it's big and clear. So even if they're for dark complexions, I can use it for my kit. And there are some colors that I can use for myself. So I really like this. I may try them out next time. But I like that. And last but not least from the box is... It's actually not the last. I know there are a lot more, but I already used them and I can't remember where I put them. And most probably, like, I finished that product already. So here, this is the Australis Fake ID. I as in E-Y-E. -E. And the colors are fun and pretty. Mas parang pang party look sila. Ayun, there are some natural nude colors here. There's this green. I like this pretty green. You know, you think we're Filipino and you know, mga conservative gusto lang natin natural. But actually, some green pigments or some green tones and shades look very good because we Filipinos usually have like black brownish eye colors. So green helps bring out the browns and some blues as well. Which are very fun, you know. You can use that for parties and for colors. I don't think we should be scared to play with colors on a daily basis even. So yeah, that's it for my um <laughs> for my gift box from my relatives from Australia, which I super duper appreciate. I miss you. Thank you for gifting this to me. And I can't wait until I'm the one who goes to Australia. Um, um. <laughs> so thank you for this box and again Australis is now here you guys can try their products I've tried a little bit of them and they're pretty good I hope that this video was in any way helpful or just fun to watch okay yeah that's all see you in my next video